my name is Sachin and in this video tutorial I am going to show you how to install SQL Server 2016 Express and SQL Server Management Studio Express. This video tutorial is powered by itzoz.com and you are watching this video on YouTube channel Ptechrise. Let's log on on Windows Server 2012 machine with administrative rights. Let me type down my very secret password. Hit enter. As usual, Server Manager opens automatically. Let us close the Server Manager. Before we start, let us see some important details. On SQL Server 2016 Express Edition, there are some limitations because it is a free version. The maximum computing capacity used by single instance of SQL Server Database Engine is limited to lesser of 1 socket or 4 cores. Maximum computing capacity used by single instance analytic services reporting services limited to lesser of one socket or four cores. Maximum memory utilization per instance of SQL Server database engine is 1 GB. This means no matter how much RAM your system is having, the SQL Server Express Edition will only utilize 1 GB of RAM. Maximum relational database size 10 GB. This means the database size cannot grow more than 10 GB. Now let's start our tutorial. Let's go to start and open Internet Explorer. Ok, now we are going to maximize the browser. In the address bar type google.com. In the google search engine type SQL Server Express 2016. I'm going to click on the first link. Now from here we are going to download our SQL Server installation file. If you read over here it says, use SQL Server programming features to build small data driven applications up to 10 GB of maximum disk size. Now let us click on try SQL Server 2016 express for free. The file is downloading, click on save. Depending on your internet speed it can take few minutes to download. Click open folder. So here is the file which we have downloaded. Before we move forward let me minimize the Internet Explorer. Now we are going to run the executable file. Right click on the executable file and then click on open. Now click on run. This is a processing window. Now we are on the main window. Here you can see there are three options. Basic custom and download media. You can select any one of the options from here. I am going to select the third option. Here it says specify SQL Server installer download. The first option is select language. I have selected English. Here it says which package would you like to download. By default the first option is selected express core. It is 411 MB and it contains SQL Server engine only. The second option is Express Advanced. This is 1255 MB and it contains SQL Server engine full text services and reporting services. The third option is Local DB which is 44 MB lightweight version of SQL Server Express with all of its programmatically features but it runs in user mode. The last option is Select Download Location. For this tutorial we have selected the first option Express Core. Now click on download. Depending on your internet speed it will take a while to download. I am going to fast forward the video so you don't have to wait for long. Now the downloading has been completed. Click on open folder. Now here you can see this is the file which we have downloaded. Before starting the installation of SQL Server Database Engine let me show you some information. The Database Engine is a core service for storing, processing and securing data. The Database Engine provides controlled access and rapid transaction processing to meet the requirement of most demanding data consuming application within your enterprise. Now double click on the setup file. This will pop up a window asking Choose the directory for abstracted files. If you want to abstract set of files to different location you can do so by clicking on browse. 
I will choose the default path. Let's click OK. So if you see over here, a new folder has been created with the set of files. It is still abstracting. If I double click on it, you can see the files inside it. These are all SQL Server set of files. We do not need to do anything over here. So let's go back. This will take few minutes. So I'm going to fast forward the video once again. Here it says, please wait while Microsoft SQL Server 2016 set up processing the current operation. Now we are on the SQL Server Installation Center. If you see the first link, it is for new SQL Server standalone installation. And the second link is for installing SQL Server management tools. I'm going to click on the second link. This will open up a browser from where we can download SQL Server management tools. Okay. Now, as you can see over here, it says download SQL Server Management Studio SSMS. Before we start downloading the SQL Server Management Studio, let us see what is the use of it. SQL Server Management Studio SSMS is an integrated environment for accessing, configuring, managing, administering, and developing all components of SQL Server. SSMS combines a broad group of graphical tools with number of rich scripting editors to provide developers and administrators of all skill levels access to SQL Server. Now, I am going to click on the first link which is Download SQL Server Management Studio. Click on Save. Depending on your internet speed, it will take some time to download. Once the downloading is completed, click on Open Folder. Before moving forward, let's close the Internet Explorer. Here you can see the file which we have just downloaded. The name of the file is SSMS Setup. Now let's minimize the folder which we have opened. As you can see, we are back on the SQL Server Installation Center. From this link, we have downloaded our SQL Server Management Studio Setup. So let us first start the installation of SQL Server Database Engine by clicking on the first link. Here it says, please wait while Microsoft SQL Server 2016 setup processes the current operation. So on the first window, it says licensing terms. To install SQL Server 2016, you must accept the Microsoft software licensing terms. Let us proceed by selecting the checkbox, I accept the license terms. Select the checkbox. Click Next. This takes us to Microsoft Update window. Click on the checkbox and then click Next. Here you can see it is checking for the available SQL Server updates. Currently there are no updates are available. Now we are on Install Rules section. Basically in this window the setup identifies the potential problems that might occur while running the setup. If you see over here everything looks good except Windows Firewall. The status of Windows Firewall is showing warning. That is because the Windows Firewall is enabled on this server. So let's move forward. Let us click on Next. Now we are on Feature Selection. Select the Express Features to install. By default, all features are selected. The first selected checkbox is Database Engine Service. The Database Engine is a core service for storing, processing and securing data. The next option is SQL Server Replication. In SQL Server Express Edition, this is a limited feature. This means you can use a SQL Server Express as a subscriber of a replicated database. Shared Features SQL Client Connectivity SDK This includes SQL Server Native Client, ODBC and OLADB SDK for database application development. And last is Redistributable Features. Now let's see other things which are available on this window. Instance root directory. You can change the path by clicking on the three dotted button. Shared features directory. You can also change the path of this. And the last is shared feature directory x86. Now let us move forward by clicking on next button. Instance configuration. Here we have to specify the name and the instance ID for the instance of SQL Server. The named instance is already selected by default. 
If you want, you can also select default instance, but we are going to go with the named instance. If you see in the dialog box, it is written SQL Express. If you want, you can change this name to something else. Instance ID is also matching with the named instance. SQL Server directory, this is the path where the SQL Server is going to be installed. Here it says named instances. If you have installed other instances of SQL Server, it will show you over here. Let's move forward, click next. Server configuration. Service accounts. Microsoft recommends that you should use separate accounts for each SQL Server service. Here you can see there are two types of services are listed, SQL Server Database Engine and SQL Server Browser. The default service accounts are already selected. Startup Type Automatic and for SQL Server Browsing Service it is disabled. SQL Server Browsing Service listens for an incoming request for Microsoft SQL Server resources and provides the information about the SQL Server instances installed on the computer. Next you can see there is a checkbox. It says grant performance volume maintenance task privileges to SQL Server Database Engine Service. This is a new option which is introduced in SQL Server 2016. Earlier we used to enable volume maintenance task by adding the SQL Server service account to the security group. The important thing to note is this privilege enables instance file initialization by avoiding zeroing of the databases. This may lead to information disclosure by avoiding deleted content to be accessed. So I'm going to select the checkbox. Now let us click next. OK. This will take few seconds to process. Now we are on database engine configuration. Specify the database engine authentication security mode, administrators, data directory and temp DB settings. If you see over here, there are four tabs. The first one is server configuration. Second, data directories. Third, temp DB. Fourth, user instances. And fifth, file stream. In this tutorial, we are only going to make changes in server configuration tab. Here we are going to specify the authentication mode and the administrators of the database engine. Authentication mode. There are two types of authentication modes are available. The first radio button is for Windows authentication mode. And the second radio button is mix mode. I am going to select the second option because by using this we can log on with both options SQL Server Authentication and Windows Authentication. As we have selected the mix mode authentication, we have to specify the password for the SQL Server System Administrator account. The username for this account is SA. Now let's set the password for the SA login account. Let's enter my secret password which I am not going to tell you. The last option is specify the SQL Server administrators. By default, the Windows administrative account will be automatically added. The accounts which are added over here will have unrestricted access to the database engine. If you see there are no accounts are added, click on add current user. Now let us move forward by clicking on next button. This brings us to installation progress window. From here we can see the progress of the SQL Server database engine installation. But don't think that it is over yet because after installing the SQL Server database engine, we have to install SQL Server Management Studio. I am going to fast forward this video so it will not take much time. So now the SQL Server database engine installation is completed. It says over here computer restart required. Just click on OK. Here it is showing us the information about the setup operation or the possible next step. The feature status are showing succeeded for all the features. So let's click on close. Okay. By now you have seen how to install SQL Server Database Engine 2016 Express Edition. Now we are going to see how to install SQL Server Management Studio. Let's close this window. Also close this. Now let's open the folder where we have downloaded the SQL Server Management Studio. It's in the downloads folder. This is the file which we have downloaded for SQL Server Management Studio. SSMS Setup ENU. Now double click on the setup file. 
Click on Run. This will take few seconds to open the installation startup window. Here on the startup window it says Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Welcome. Click Install to begin. So let us click on Install. I am going to fast forward the video so it will not take long time. Setup completed. All specific components have been installed successfully. Click close. Also close this window. Now go to start. And we are going to open the SQL Server Management Studio. Here you can see the list of components for SQL Server 2016. This is SQL Server Management Studio which we have installed. Double click on it. It will take few minutes to open as it is opening for the first time. I'm going to fast forward the video so you don't have to wait for long. Here you can see the SQL Server Management Studio has been opened up. Here we have three options, server type, database engine, server name. The name of the server is same as my computer name and slash the instance name which is SQL Express. Authentication. Currently Windows authentication is selected by default. You can click on the drop down to select different type of authentication method. Let us select SQL server authentication. If you select SQL server authentication it will ask you for the login ID and the password. Ok let us select Windows authentication. Now click on connect. As you can see we have successfully connected to the database engine using Windows authentication. You can right click on databases and create a new database if you want. Now let's click on disconnect button. Now click on connect button. On connect to server window, click on authentication drop down and select SQL Server Authentication. The default username for SQL Server is SA and the password is the same password which we have entered at the time of the installation of database engine. Let me type the password. Select remember password. Click connect and we have connected to the database successfully. To create a database you can right click on the databases then click on new database. Well let us disconnect this and also close the management studio. So it completes our this video tutorial. Don't forget to watch our next video which will be very informative for you. Hello friends thank you for watching our this video tutorial. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to receive an email update whenever we post a new video. Share it with your technical IT friends. If you are facing any technical problem or have any suggestions post your comment here or catch me on Google Plus, Hangout, Facebook, Twitter and Skype. This video tutorial is presented by Search Sunny powered by ITZOZ.com and you are watching this video on YouTube channel Peter Rice.